Mercury and the Woodman A man was felling a tree on the steep bank of a river, and by chance let slip his hatchet, which dropped into the water and sunk to the bottom. Being in distress for want of his tool, he sat down and bemoaned himself on the occasion. Upon this, Mercury appeared to him, and being informed of the cause of his complaint, dived to the bottom of the river, and coming up again, showed the man a golden hatchet, demanding if that were his. He denied that it was, upon which Mercury dived in a second time, and brought up a silver one. The man refused it, alleging likewise that it was not his. He dived a third time, and fetched up the individual hatchet the man had lost, upon sight of which the poor fellow was overjoyed, and took it with all humility and thankfulness. Mercury was so pleased with his honesty, that he gave him the other into the bargain, as a reward for his just dealing. Away goes the man to his companions, and giving them an account of what had happened, one of them went presently to the river's side and let his hatchet fall designedly into the stream. Then sitting down upon the bank, he fell to weeping and lamenting as if he had been really and sorely afflicted. Mercury appeared as before, and diving brought him up a golden hatchet asking if that were the hatchet he had lost. Transported at the precious metal, the, he answered yes, and went to snatch it greedily. But the god, detesting his abominable impudence, not only refused him that, but would not so much as let him have his own again. Application. Honesty is the best policy and one of our best poets has further stamped a value upon the good old Maxim by his assertion that an honest man is the noblest work of God. The paths of truth and integrity are so plain, direct and easy that the man who pursues them stands in no need of subtle contrivances to deceive the world. He listens to the honest monitor within and makes good his professions with his patience, neither gold nor silver hatchets can make him deviate from it, and whatever situation he may be placed in, he is sure to meet the esteem of all men within the circle in which he moves, and has besides the constant pleasure of feeling self-approbation within his own breast.